Fights on the corner, he gets a countering right hand! What an incredible I love you! Oh, and down he goes! Time after time, on the brink of defeat, has somehow found a way to win. A way to win. All those years ago with Bruce Seldon and a right hand puts Thompson on the floor. There's the power, and he gets it. This Ezra Salas, and Thompson has already fouled it. And there's a right back. Well, what a fight we're going to have here, I think. And Sellers is in a much, much worse way as he gets up. Sellers, the American in the black trunks. Thompson's right hand. Thompson might fancy he can take him out. Uppercuts back. Left hook comes back though from Sellers, and he rocks Thompson. There's another right hand, and an uppercut, two of them. Fast hands he's got. Oh, big shots, jabs or anything like that. They're just looking for knockout punches all the time. And somehow in the middle of it, Sellers finds time to showboat, and then floors Thompson again. There was a big chopping right good. No, he's not. He's there's there. Another big left hand. Oh, would you believe it? Back he comes to floor the American again. And there's still 27 seconds left in the round. And another right hand from Thompson. Is that going to do it for him? Now Zella stands there and to... <laughs> Amazing stuff. And an uppercut from Thompson again. His eyes are in the how he's still on his feet. The bell is coming up, but will it be quick enough? Well, I'm... He gets hit with the shots. Mind you, in a bad way. I was wondering whether he was going to... Hands have done the damage for Thompson. And I thought for... Sellers is trying to line up that left hand. He's inviting Thompson in. Thompson will do that and walks into punches as he does. Like that. As he spar with this guy. And then Thompson goes down the game. And he walks onto a right himself. <laughs> Holding on. Oh, good right hand. And Thompson's a fighter who's had to show some real grit in his big fights on the corner. He gets a countering right hand as he looked to land his own. Now, this is serious. Thompson is down. I don't think he's over. The count only got to six. Steve Smoker says no more. Read around the Cincinnati and Pittsburgh area for a long number of years. Just look at this. A good right by Lyle. A good right by Lyle, and he's got Foreman in trouble. He's got him in trouble. Care to Gil Clancy sitting right next to me for instruction. You see George in trouble. Howard, as you can see, Lyle is giving four. That could be a mistake. Can he? Right, come around and land on Foreman. Foreman in the red trunks. Lyle and Lyle is yelling to Foreman, keep those hands up. Now Lyle is hurt! Now Lyle is hurt! Quickly, Foreman landed a left and a right and another left, and Lyle's in trouble. Now, he's a little shaky. The leg's just a little rubbery. Foreman is a tremendous puncher. No question about that. Ken Norton can attest to that. I told you we'd have a slugfest, and that's what we've got. Kids playing in the playground for a the second round was only two minutes long. That's correct. Chet Porty, our producer, retimed the second round in our truck. Lyle all over. Lyle has Foreman in trouble. Foreman is down. It started with a right. Fifteen months since our uh, air, he's been relatively inactive, except for that charade in Toronto against the frightful Bod. Now Foreman fighting back. Oh, right. Foreman is in trouble. Lyle caught him with a good left. Now, George, now, now, George struck back. Now, now, George fought back. Fight, just as Lyle apparently had George in trouble. George with that punching power that we talked about in prior fights. Lyle is now, Lyle is now. Freddie Hinless screaming the form and hit him in the body. George at the head. Lyle is now wide open. He is right. Lyle trying to swing back. This is an artistic. Only 10 seconds left in the round. Now Foreman was staggered. Foreman was staggered by a Lyle left. The Foreman goes down. Foreman goes down. Lands right here. A good left by Lyle. Foreman
Foreman holding on. We're going, Foreman here we go, Howard. Staggering Foreman. all over the ring. While against the ropes, going. Then he made the point that George's hands are down, and so they are. George is falling forward over Lyle, trying to hear him power. George got a series of left hit. Cut right uppercut by Lyle. Foreman again in trouble. Falling forward onto Lyle. Now it's Lyle. Now it's Lyle. What an incredible fight. Utterly without boxing skills. Just punching away. Each fighter in turn leaving himself open. Both men are really working at Foreman's using the power in. Lyle's waiting just a little too long. They're both fighting. Lyle's got to come back with the down. Now Lyle down to the canvas. Foreman punching him again and again and again when it looked like George was done. This time it may be over. He's going to make it, Lyle. He's not going to make it. A knockout in the fifth round by George Foreman when it seemed Lyle had command of this ever has more up against the ropes. The body shot, the right hand. More blocking one right. Then he takes him. And he's hurt. Michael Moore is out on his face. Right. Michael Moore. That fight is over if the Joe O'Neill doesn't give him a count right here. But Michael Moore looks like he's out cold on his feet. Now Joe. A long straight count. right hand. Michael Moore. Burt Cooper. That fight. But in the surprise here, Cooper got him down in the first round. But he just hurt Cooper with a short little left hand himself. Moore digging in a body shot. Oh, oh, Cooper goes down, out. He, he stretched out, his mouthpiece came flying out, got covered. Absorbing more punishment. And more, all over him again. Oh, and Cooper. How was he able to stand? Well, more landed, and great hooks to the head. Cooper is about to go again. With both men knocked down, and both nearly out. Final seconds of the round. in the body shot. Cooper with the right hook and the uppercut. Oh, heavyweight championship belt. Oh, Cooper with the combination. And another combination. And he has more down again. Oh! And Cooper lands again. Wow. He likes the grind on the inside. It's the strategy. Backed up against the rope. Looking real nasty. On oh, right hand way through the fifth round. And the body shots. Oh, good right hand and then the left for Moore. It started with the right and now Moore has Cooper up against the ropes. Oh, but down he goes. Tell you, Nick, that's no, it's it. over. That's it. Michael Moore, the WBO heavyweight champion. In fact, the first southpaw to ever win a heavyweight championship. Exactly right. To obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and respect the bell. Touch him up, touch him up. Okay. Well, quick left hook by I mean, <laughs> Jefferson. Marius is a big puncher for his weight. And then his second round knockout of Kurt Cooper, this time only five. Every time Harris, Harris should go to Jefferson's body every chance he gets. Oh, so sizzling left hook by Jefferson, and Harris goes down. And that's a good way to finish. Uppercut landed. Like he's going to make it, but here he comes again. Smoker is going to let Harris have a chance to continue. 30 seconds left. And down goes Jefferson on a Harris right hand. That's showing his own grit. Gets him. That's an experience. But it's all right. What a comeback by Harris in the closing seconds of the round. It's more than experience. I'm seeing guts, spirit. Harris almost went down and yeah, he's out. He's out. Between rounds, to try to get to Jefferson's body and sap some of his power. Right hand shot lands for Harris. Guys who are hungry to win. Oh, that hurt his body very. Oh, oh and he's uppercut. Vicious uppercut by Jefferson. Harris wobbling again. 
Jefferson trying to pound that uppercut. Is to move forward, which is what you look in any fight. Outpiece gone again. Right there is when Marius get caught. About the opportunity to fight on HBO. These guys with big muscles, big shoulders, and he uses a lot of energy to get tired. Yeah, he's trying to slow the fight down. Big weapon for him if he got it going. Oh. Watch behind it. But Jefferson ended that with his power punches only. And now Harris goes. Harris comes in with his hands down, but to the body. And he lands a left oh, hook. Uh, 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 and now Jefferson wobbles again. Jefferson comes out. And he stay on his feet. Oh, that's oh. The oh, what a left that's hook it. shot. That oh, is no. no count necessary. Derek Jefferson. I love you! <laughs> oh my gosh! Good night, Maurice. Tommy Coyle, and certainly that's how they prepared for it in training and sparring. Physically, Coyle does look a little bit bigger. Looking body shots off. Oh, oh, perfect shot. Big right hand. That shot this place. As I looked at this fellow, Nick, I thought, look at the prop. See, there, makes a mistake, he's punished for it. The fellow's very surprises. Earlier on the undercar was caught. There you go, look at it now. And that's better working downstairs. Oh, good oh, shot. Yeah, that's, that's much nice. better. Yeah, he's fine in the range now, Coyle. Oh, we've got him in the left. There. Do not allow this fellow to keep backing him up now. So if he can draw a lead from Coyle, that's nice. Coyle putting punches together. That's it. Well, both getting through, but Coyle stronger. That's good stuff from Rosuela. Coyle. Oh, oh, good, good work. body shot, left hook to the body, Coyle in serious distress. That was a few extra seconds, but he's in trouble. The body shot of Sicano, and he's looking for it again here, Brizuela, and, and suffering, and in trouble. Grimacing in pain, trying to find his way out of this, and Brizuela is looking for trying to find something, but he's really hurt. And there's the body shot again, and he's hit the button, and Coyle is going to beat his face. Gets a left into Brizuela, but can he take... Much more of this. Can he land? Brazuela has used up a bit of steam. He's going to look forward to them and it's rest. And again, some of those punches are borderline. Suddenly seem to say, right, enough's enough. Getting a little breather himself. That was better from So far in this round, a good right hand yeah, from Coyle. Yeah, that was Coyle. terrific from Coyle. From the previous round. Times out a point taken off. And again. Oh, good shot. That was round. Oh, oh good shot again. And he's, 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 he's shaken. Badly and down. Tommy Coyle has turned this one around. Up at eight. Brizuela that's forced to try and tie up here. Great work again from Coyle. He was clinging on there as well, Brizuela. A well, short another side. body shot though. He's come back with another body shot. Turns, yep, turns it into offense, but again another body shot, and that one was low. Well, I'd like to see a repeat of that one. I mean, the referee reacted quickly. Better from Brizuela as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, another there's a body, body shot, shot and Coyle felt that. Coyle's in trouble once more. And they sense it, and there's the body shot, and down goes Coyle again. And that was coming, and Coley, he can't take much more of this. And what a shot, what a right hand, out of nowhere. But Brizuela's looked at his corner and nodded as if... To me, like a finisher, the way we're on it. Well, it's caught again, and down. And can he get up this time? He's okay. But Coyle goes for the finish. What an extraordinary night this is. And every round has just been more eventful than the last. And he's in trouble again, Brisbane. Knockdowns. Shook him rigid, and Coyle's got him with one of those big right hands again. And he's in trouble again, and down again. And Coyle has tipped him decisively now in his favour, surely. Certainly, the rest of this round has turned on his favour. He stopped it, Steve Gray's pulled it off. Tommy Coyle, after time, on the brink of defeat, has somehow found a way.